Pests and diseases really can be a problem for any garden. They can destroy crops and damage plants. By following a few simple techniques, you can help prevent trouble and keep your garden healthy all year round. What I'm about to show you is a simple guide to keeping your garden healthy. Firstly, adopting good gardening practice will help keep pests and diseases at bay. By this I mean general garden hygiene. This includes clearing debris away, weeding, avoiding surface water and providing good drainage. You should also think about good planting preparation. So for example, dig over the soil well, add compost, rake and remove stones from the soil. Also make sure your plants are well fed. If your plant is malnourished, it will be more susceptible to pests and diseases. And finally, make sure that the growing areas are kept open and good air circulation is allowed to flow. Pests and diseases can be tackled in a number of ways. Biological methods are a good way to control pests. Introducing a live predator will attack pests without damaging the plants. There are also a wide range of chemical and mechanical control methods such as insecticides, fungicides and herbicides. They can give effective results if used properly, but they can be harmful to the environment if not used correctly. So what sort of pests should we be looking out for and how would you treat a major infestation? Well the worst kind of pests, or the most common kind of pests, are the slugs and the snails. And just looking at this bunch of hostas here, the slugs and snails absolutely love them. And you can see all the raggedy leaves that they've damaged. And just looking around here, I can just see two slugs, a snail, another snail just here, left their own devices, they will just wipe out these leaves, leaving, the, leaving it all just looking in tatters. The easiest way to treat slugs and snails is actually just to go through, ideally first thing in the morning or last thing at night, and just pick them off and take them away just remove them off the plant. In these damp conditions they love to come out and so they're very easy to find. And just pick them off the leaves, and stick them in the pot and take them away. So I've just planted this new hosta in the ground and what I want to try and do is prevent the slugs from getting to it because I don't want to have all these holes all through my lovely hosta leaves. So I'm going to put some horticultural grit around the base of the plant. That will hopefully prevent the slugs from travelling over this sharp grit and onto my leaves and destroying my plant. And just to make doubly sure that my slugs and snails don't attack my lovely hosta plant, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a beer trap. And that's putting a jar into the ground, just sinking it into the soil. And then you just pour a little bit of beer in there. Slugs and snails will come along and rather than attacking my plant, will go in there to drink the beer and they won't be able to get out. A biological method of controlling slugs is to use nematodes. Here I am preparing a mixture in a watering can. Always apply it in moist conditions from March till October. As you can see, I'm drenching the soil rather than the plants. Keep a lookout for pests such as whitefly. This plant has got a bad infestation on its leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a biological control for this. This is a parasitic wasp. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hook it up onto the leaf here. And in a couple of weeks, these will hatch and they'll start feeding on the whitefly. Do note that these biological methods are best used in contained areas such as conservatories or greenhouses. There are a number of other common problems such as red spider mite, aphids, vine weevil, black spot and mildew, but don't let them put you off. Pests and diseases can be tackled. You can find more details on the leaflet which you can download from our website. And remember, you can always ask in your local garden centre for advice. To find ones close to you, also have a look online.